In this problem, I'm asked to find the solutions in the interval from 0 to 2 pi, for 1 minus sine t is equal to the square root of 3 cosine t. In order to solve this problem, we will recognize that we have both sines and cosines. Therefore, I need to find a way to convert from one to the other. The only identity that we know is that cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to 1. Therefore, I'm going to square both sides in order to get both sine squares and cosine squares. So, if I do that, I'm going to have 1 minus sine t squared is equal to the square root of 3 cosine t squared. 1 minus sine of t squared is 1 minus sine t times itself. That is equal to 3 times the cosine squared of t, squaring each term. If I FOIL this out, I would be left with 1 minus 2 sine t plus sine squared t is equal to 3 cosine squared t. We know that cosine squared t is equal to 1 minus sine squared t using Pythagorean's identity. Therefore, we have 3 times 1 minus sine squared t. Distributing that 3 through the parentheses, we would have 3 minus 3 sine squared t. Therefore, bringing everything over to one side, adding 3 sine squared t gives us 4 sine squared t minus 2 sine t, and subtracting 3 minus 2 is equal to 0. We are now ready to factor this. We could factor out a 2, and we'd be left with 2 sine squared t minus sine t minus 1 is equal to 0. This would further factor down into 2 sine 2 sine t plus 1 and sine t minus 1 is equal to 0. We could check. We have 2 sine squared t minus 2 sine t plus sine t minus 1. Therefore, we know that either 2 sine t plus 1 is equal to 0 or sine t minus 1 is equal to 0. If 2 sine t plus 1 is equal to 0, we want sine t to be equal to a negative 1 half. In the interval between 0 and 2 pi, that would give us values in quadrants 3 and 4 with a reference angle of pi over 6, or t is equal to 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. Sine t equaling to 1 is going to occur at pi over 2. Because we squared both sides, we might have the possibility of getting an extraneous solution or a solution that doesn't work. Therefore, we need to check our answers. We will check pi over 2. We'd have 1 minus the sine of pi over 2 Sine of pi over 2 is 1, so we'd have 1 minus 1 is 0. And square root of 3 times a cosine of pi over 2, cosine of pi over 2 is also 0. Therefore, we have 0 is equal to 0. Checking 7 pi over 6, we have 1 minus 7 pi over 6. The sine of 7 pi over 6 is equal to a negative one half, and one minus a negative one half is one and one half. The cosine of seven pi over six, cosine of seven pi over six is the negative square root of three over two. We would recognize that square root of 3 times a negative square root of 3 over 2 gives us a negative 3 over 2 or a negative 1 and 1 half. Therefore 7 pi over 6 is not a solution. We can check 11 pi over 6 recognizing that 11 pi, sine of 11 pi over 6 is a negative 1 half so again we get 3 halves on the left hand side. Cosine of 11 pi over 6 is the square root of 3 over 2 Multiplying it by the square root of 3, we get 3 halves, therefore that checks.